Hi, in this video, I want to show you one of my books. So I've had this book for a very, very long time. In fact, this is one of um, the first math books I bought when I started you know, collecting math books many years ago. And it's a pretty good book and it's written really for a very specific audience and we'll talk about that in a minute. So the book is called Functions of a Complex Variable and it's by Townsend. And this book is over 100 years old. So I think that's really cool. Um, it feels like it's very well made. I, I don't think they make books like this anymore. I mean, just the binding, it just feels really solid. Gotta give it a whiff. Ah, smells really old. So let's just open it up and explore this book and talk about who this book is for and the pros and the cons. So let's just open it up. So nice yellow pages. Very nice, very good quality. American Mathematical Series, E.J. Townsend, General Editor. Uh, here we go, the first really fun page. Functions of a Complex Variable by E.J. Townsend, PhD, Professor of Mathematics, University of Illinois. That's a, a very, very good school um, for mathematics, the University of Illinois. And 1915, so that's, wow, over 100 years. There's some errata. And here he talks about who the book is for. I want to emphasize this because um, it's really important to look at this. The present volume is based on a course of lectures given by the author for a number of years at the University of Illinois. It is intended as an introductory course suitable for first year graduate students. So there, that's it. So this is intended to be a book for graduate students. So is it really for beginners? Not really. Um, but it's still worth picking up because when you read a book like this, it reads at a higher level. And so it just, it reads a little bit differently. You know, I can take an advanced calculus book written by um, a certain author and take one that's written at a little bit higher level and they just read a little bit differently. So this kind of has like a smoother flow to it in terms of reading, but there's lots of gaps missing that you would have to fill in because it's a graduate book. So I hope that made sense, but that's my take on this book. Um, you get a lot of information in just a few pages. Let's look at the contents. I mean, so it's a very dense book. So it starts with real and complex numbers. Then it goes on to fundamental definitions concerning functions and then differentiation and integration. So these are things that you would typically do in a complex variables course, even, even at the undergrad level, right? So it does have undergrad topics and mapping with applications to elementary functions, linear fractional tr transformations, and then it goes on to infinite series, uh, single valued functions, and then multi-valued functions. Went there kind of quickly, um, went through that kind of quick, but it has the standard topics that you would see like in a complex variables course. Um, I took complex variables as an undergrad and I also took it as a graduate student and definitely the book we used uh, in that course, uh, as a graduate student, was much more intense than a beginner book. Like, say, uh, the book by Brown and Churchill would be a better book for beginners than this one, or the book by Saf and Snyder. I'll try to leave some links in the description uh, to this book if I can find it. Uh, it might be out of print. And to other good beginner books on complex variables. But very good quality pages. Um, amazing condition. I just got to give it another whiff. Yeah, smells really good. Um, it does have a scent of smoke. I think the previous owner perhaps uh, smoked. So it does have a slight smoke smell on some pages, but it just mostly smells old. Yeah, here's the cauchy gorsant theorem, theorem two. Yeah, so it's basic complex variable stuff that you would see at the undergraduate level. But again, the book is really written um, at a higher level. Here's a, a limit proof. It seems, yeah, this is one of the basic limit proofs you do at the beginning of a complex variables course. So the notation is kind of interesting, right? They put L n equals infinity. So some of the notation is a little bit outdated, you know, because I guess it's, you know, it's over a hundred years old. So the notation in this book is not going to be like um, the notation in, um, you know, newer books. But again, I think books like this, complex variables books like this are worth owning, especially if you can find them like, you know, inexpensively. I'm pretty sure I paid less than $10 for this book. And, uh, but again, I don't know if it's still in print. I'll look for it. Anyways, just wanted to make a short video to show you this book. Um, just one of my books that I have. Yeah, that's it. Take care.